Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to add depth and dimension to this bad boy. All right guys, so today what you get in is essentially a practice session. Um, I was supposed to be doing a photo shoot, but um, the model just wasn't available. So what I ended up doing is just basically practicing. So I figure, you know what, <laughs> like I did before, let me just record my practice session. And hopefully you guys get something from it. Now, that being said, what I wanted to show you guys is how to add depth and dimension to a particular image. And I also wanted to demonstrate to you guys how you could do it incorrectly. And if you do it incorrectly, you can basically flatten an image. Now, I say incorrectly, but some people really, really like this look, but it's just not something that I go for. Lighting is really that tool that's gonna really shape uh, the image that you're trying to create, whether it be an 85 millimeter lens or an actual person. So placement of the light is very, very important. And also shadows in the image also is very, very important. So today I'm gonna demonstrate that utilizing uh, one light. So I wanna show you guys, when I say add in depth and dimension to an image, I just wanna show you guys what I mean by that and what I don't mean by that. So I'm gonna show you guys both ways and then you can make a judgment as to which one you prefer. And if you stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a high key image utilizing three lights. All right, so here I am. The subject is there, the light is directly behind me. So this type of lighting will really, really flatten the image and is not gonna add any depth to it. So let me take a shot and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So this type of lighting I would utilize mostly for fill light and not as the main light. There's a lot of people that like this type of flat look. And if this is the look that you like, that's perfectly fine. But in my opinion, this particular look just doesn't add any depth to the image. So let me demonstrate to you guys what I really like to do to add depth and dimension to the image. And you guys can let me know which one you prefer. All right, so here we are. So the light now, I move the light directly to camera right of the subject. So the subject is here and the light is over there. So the light is moved directly to camera right of the subject. Now, as far as the power on that light, the power is at 1 16th of a power on that light. All right, so here's another view of the light now um, to the camera left of the main subject. So subject is here and the light is there and I'm gonna be <laughs> that way. All right, so here I am. I'm gonna take the shot and then I'm gonna show you guys um, that shot with just utilizing one light, okay? All right, so that's just with one light. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a bounce card just to add a little bit more light to camera left of the subject, just to fill in the shadows a little bit more. All right, so here I have the bounce card. So I just added the bounce card to, to the setup. Nothing else changed except I brought in the bounce card. So the bounce card is gonna basically take some of the light that's coming off of here, bounce it off of this whiteboard and then bounce back some on the subject. So that's gonna fill in the shadows on the camera left of the subject. All right, so that's the shot with just the fill board. Now, what I'm gonna to try to do is, I got a little bit more ambitious and add maybe a second light and that's for the background just to add a little bit of separation between uh, the subject and the background now do you absolutely need that no you could get away with just this shot but 
I'm just trying to, you know, add something else just to give it a little bit of separation. All right, so now I'm gonna take a shot with the background light. So again, we just have the one light on camera right with the fill board, and then we have the light on the background. Now the light on the background, as far as the power is concerned, that light is at 128 of a power. So it's, so it's just a little bit of light that we added on the background. We're not adding too much, just a little bit of light. All right, so now let's take a quick shot and see what we get. So in this high key setup, what we have going on here is three lights. So we have the AD200 here. We have the AD200 behind the main subject, which is our 85 millimeter lens. And then we have the AD600 uh, over here. So these two lights, the AD200 on the right hand or camera right, and then we have the AD600 on camera left. It's acting as a rim light and it's just giving the 85 millimeter a little bit of light in the front because without the light in the front, the 85 millimeter will just appear as a silhouette. So now we have the 8200 behind the subject, which is the 85, and that 8200 is in a soft box, and that soft box is basically acting as our background, and that's gonna give us our high key look. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is capture a single image uh, without any of the flash, just to show you guys what the image looks like without the flash. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce one light at a time so you could see exactly what each light is doing. Okay, so the only light that's on is the background light. So now let's take a picture and see uh, what impact that light is having on the image. All right, so as you can see, the background light is basically creating this nice uh, high key background. However, for the subject, the subject is silhouetted. So now what we have to do is add some fill light to the subject just so that we could see the subject. All right, so the second light that we're gonna turn on is the light to camera right. So this light we're gonna turn on and then we're gonna turn off the background light. So the background light has no impact to this particular image. The only light that's gonna be on is the light to camera right. So that's the 8200 once again. So the light on camera right, which is the AD200, the power on that light now is at 1 16th of a power and the background light is at 1 4th of a power. And then this light, which we're about to test now, this light I have it on 1 64th of a power. Now this is the AD600, so this light is a little bit more powerful. So let's see what we get out of it. All right, so now that we tested all the lights, the last step in the process is basically to turn on all the lights and to see what kind of an impact you have with all of the lights. So it's really that simple. That's how you do it. That's how you would create an high key image utilizing three lights for a simple subject as an 85 millimeter 1.2 lens. All right guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration on how to add depth and dimension to this bad boy, this 85 1.2 lens. Now, I know this is not like maybe like the ideal subject. Um, I certainly do not shoot these types of things. I, I shoot actual people. But when I don't have a person to shoot, this is what I do. I practice on stuff around the house. And I just had this and I was like, you know what? Let me just practice on this. Now, the reason I try to practice every so often is because when I go on location, I'm actually working with a subject, I want to be able to work very quickly. I don't want to be in front of my subject guessing on what I should or shouldn't do. 
Um, obviously, there's situations that you're gonna come across, problems that you're gonna come across that you're gonna have to deal with, but practice certainly prepares you and it gives you enough tools and tricks to basically apply to some problems that you might come across. Another thing that it really helps you out with is understanding your gear. Understanding your gear is so important because when you go out on location, you don't wanna be fumbling with your gear trying to figure out how to work it in front of your paying client. It's just not a good look. So. I highly recommend that you guys go out there and practice. Try adding some depth and dimension into your image. Like I said, it's probably not for everyone, um, and everyone might like the you know the flat image. But I certainly like to add depth and dimension in my images. And by the way, guys, all the images that you saw in this particular video were all straight out of camera. I have no time to basically retouch. Uh, these types of images on this thing. I, I, you know, I don't keep these images for any reason, so they're all straight out of camera, and it was only for demonstration purposes. So, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below, let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.